Yeah. Homie, I'm yeah. ready. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Just protecting my investment. Yeah. Ask about me. Integrity's yeah. not a question. B2 fans. This professional welterweight fight is set for three rounds at five minutes apiece. First, hiding out of the blue corner. His record stands at three wins and one loss. His height, six feet. His weight, 170 pounds. He trains with Dayton Vision MMA, Gladiator Wrestling, and Team Reaper. And he comes to you from Dayton, Ohio. His name is Paul Shomo. Shomer! And his opponent, out of the game, Haven Red Corner. His record stands at three wins and two losses. His height, five foot nine inches, and his weight, 170 pounds. He trains with Queen City Grappling Club and comes to you from Carlisle, Ohio. His name is Jimmy Sandstorm. Red Bollock will be your referee for this fight. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the back. Touch gloves, listen to me at all times, protect yourself at all times. Man, oh man. I'm excited for this one, Alex. These I say that all the time, but I really have am. Countless hours sparring each other in the gym, and only they know how that has typically gone. Oh, big hook lands for Jimmy Sandlin. The jab lands for Schomer. Knee attempt there from Paul Schomer. And these guys are brawling early. Big knees there for Paul Schomer. Jimmy Sandlin catches the kick and lands uppercuts. The length of Schomer showing with that jab. I like that long jab out of Schomer right there. It's just the ultimate weapon against a shorter fighter. You can keep him. Oh, Jimmy lands a big overhand right. That's it. That's what's happening right there. Schomer's coming in throwing his strikes, but he's not employing any head movement. Oh, Jimmy's throwing for the fences. Schomer's trying to be precise. Every time Schomer comes in, Jimmy plants his feet and throws that overhand right, and it's finding a home right on the chin of Schomer. Great timing for Jimmy Sandlin to score the takedown, and Jimmy breaks with a right over the top. The activity of that overhand right is what really disguised that takedown and, and allowed him to get it so easily. Good movement here from Jimmy Sandlin. Paul Schomer back in this fight. The cobwebs are gone. Good, good jab to the body. Schomer comes over top. Oh, Jimmy catches the kick with the left hand, throws the right hook. Sandlin's just swinging everywhere that Schomer goes. Sandlin's just putting some leather in his face. Absolutely. Such intense pressure from Jimmy Sandlin. Oh, the left lands for Schomer with the knee. Sandlin ate one right there, but he walked right through it. And we'll see if Schomer's able to wrestle Jimmy Sandlin. Jimmy turns, Schomer with the knee. This is a war right now in the first two minutes. Somebody's bleeding, Alex. I think it's Schomer. Schomer maybe with the slip. Jimmy's on the back, throwing big shots. Jimmy's timing his shots right here. Good head movement for Paul Schomer. Schomer with the trip attempt. Double unders for Paul Schomer right now. He's gonna have a hard time throwing Jimmy Sandlin though. Jimmy Sandlin with a tough sprawl here. Good head position here from Jimmy Sandlin. Schomer, true to his name, just as gritty as they come. Yeah, I think this is kind of where Schomer wants to keep it. He yes. wants to keep it close and gritty. Sandlin's getting the better of the exchanges out here in the open field. I think that Schomer's got to close that distance and make this a gritty battle. Schomer's finding a way to sneak in uppercuts. There you see a big hook kick. Sandlin with a kick to the body, followed by punches up top. Schomer with a bad cut on the left eye. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy lands a right hand. Schomer lands a knee. Schomer back on the jab. Jimmy's teeing off right here, but as he does, his hands are down and his chin's in one spot. He's got to be careful. We know that Schomer's got a hard overhand, so he might eat that with his head. As he does right there. Jimmy don't care. Paul's throwing the 
kicks Stanley, catches one. Good take down. We'll see if he's able to hold Shomer on the ground. Elbows to the body for Paul Shomer. I mean, these are two creative and warrior 170s. And Shomer was playing some games. He faked like he was going to sleep. Shomer with that headlock. He's got to be careful. He could get himself caught in a Von Flew here. If Sandlin knows that, and he lets that headlock go, good choice. You see big elbows coming here from Jimmy Sandlin. He wants to pry the shots landing, and Sandlin wants to knock Shomer out. Again, everywhere they go, Sandlin's putting leather in Shomer's face. But, but Shomer's just a dog. He's staying in this fight. He's not just staying in this fight. He's throwing back. How is he doing it? Shomer just letting Sandlin know he's got some leather, too. The one-two lands for Shomer. Sandlin doesn't care, he's ripping uppercuts, he's ripping hooks. What an exciting fight here in our co-main event. Spinning back fist for Shomer. These guys are warriors. Oh Just over goodness. 30 seconds left in round one, our co-main event here, B2 Fighting Series 125. Jimmy's on the guillotine, who will see it yet? Shomer's able to pass. Shomer picks him right up, puts him in his corner. My. Goodness, the crowd going crazy. Sandlin did have that good guillotine, but that was a hard slam by Shomer. And now Shomer's on out. his own guillotine, but Sandlin passes the side. 10 seconds remaining. That guillotine's in there, Alex. Nope. It was in there to begin with. You've seen that Jimmy tried to move and, and squirm a little bit. That lets me know it was under the chin. You think these guys know each other, Rocky? Unreal. You, you wouldn't know that they know each other. My God. They're in here trying to kill each other. What, what a, a round. What an amazing co-main event here tonight. Huge left hand right there by Shomer. Sandlin coming back with some leather of his own right there. My goodness. The one, two lands for Paul Shomer. Sandlin moves the kick out, the big head kick. Doesn't care, I'm catching that, I'm taking you down. Running the side control. Good timing on that takedown. You see Shomer picks up Sandlin, takes him to his cage right there. Sandlin just not able to get his legs locked ever on that guillotine, or else who knows. Yeah, Sandlin definitely got a really strong squeeze. He could lock up those legs, this fight could be over. And Shomer is wearing the blood. Sandlin looks fresh. Shomer looks battered. Shomer does look a little battered right now, but I don't know if that may be a little bit of an act trying to bait Sandlin in. Second round here in the co-main event, B2-125. Jimmy Sandlin's coach is calling. Keep that jab in his face right away. Shomer steps in with an elbow and a knee, and Sandlin's going hooks. And the teeth from Shomer. If Shomer's going to come in and close the distance like that. I like that short elbow. Shomer checks the kick. Sandlin just barely throwing it out there, giving something to think about. Good lateral movement from Jimmy Sandlin. The one-two lands from Shomer. You have to wonder how much is left on it, though. See the pace slow just a tad here in round two. Shomer doing a good job of finding a home for his leg kicks. Trying to win a little bit of energy out of Jimmy Sandlin. But Jimmy's finding a home for his punches. Sandlin doing a good job of switching up stances, putting a bunch of different feints, kicks in the face of Shomer. And he's really doing a good job of disguising it. Ooh. Shomer lands with the jab. Sandlin lands with the hook. Sandlin doing a great job of, of just moving the jab around, in the body, in the face. Level change, uppercut. Shomer lands one on the way out as well. I really want to see Shomer close that distance and turn this into a gritty fight, just like that right there. there. It is. Now we'll see if Shomer's able to keep Sandlin down. As Jimmy works to get his hips underneath him, he's going to work up for a single leg here. He changes to a double. Shomer on the neck, but Sandlin's up. That was a good attempt by Shomer. Looked like a kick below the belt there, but Sandlin pays it no attention at all. 
Sandlin just too scrappy. You can't keep that kid down. Absolutely not. Action right here in front of us. Good double leg here for Jimmy Sandlin. And I think Jimmy's not going to wait around here for this ground and pound. He's not going to let Schomburg get comfortable. No, I definitely think he's got something to prove on his former teammate here. He's looking for a finish, Alex. 100%. A good potential to do it here. Schomer, however, does have a tricky guard. Good hit from Jimmy Sandland. A very bad spot for Paul Schomer right here in the game Haven red corner. Good hand fighting from Paul Schomer. Knees to the body from Jimmy Sandland. Sandlin just ripping shots, and how is Chomer able to walk through this? Chomer is such a dog. My goodness. Chomer reaching. And firing back with everything he's got, too. Sandlin out of range. He appears to just be one step ahead in this second round. Sandlin going to finish the double again. Sandlin relentless on that takedown. Schomer trying to fight for this arm bar. Sandlin recognizes it. Says, no, sir, I'm out of there. Good elbow there from Jimmy Sandlin. Nice, nice crisp little elbow right there, snuck in. Schomer working for an inverted guard. Does not work out, Sandlin passes. To side control, knee on belly here for Jimmy Sandlin. Looking perhaps to pass all the way to mount. Good hits from Paul Schomer. But the headlock of Sandlin is just so mean. And Schomer may be starting to fade. One minute to go here in this second round. Schomer a little battered here again, but that's kind of been the story this whole fight so far, and yet he's still here fighting. But Jimmy Sandlin's going to have to kill Paul Schomer. He's not going to quit. And as we see here, Schomer's throwing back. Schomer is dangerous until his last breath. Sandlin's gonna have to keep his hands up. He may catch some of that leather right there on the lip. Action right in the center of the B2 fighting series cage. 30 seconds to go in this second round. Sandlin looking for one more takedown just to put exclamation mark on this second round. No questions on this round. Palmer, good job, right back to his knees. Good hip switch there. 10 seconds remaining in this second round. Jimmy Sandlin just all over Paul Schomer. Jimmy wants to finish. He wants to make Paul Schomer have to buzz his hair for the bet. Jimmy Sandlin trying really hard to finish that round too. Excellent performance of both guys here. I'm gonna have to say a little more dominance out of Jimmy Sandlin, but uh, what we've seen here tonight, I'm not making any more predictions, Alex. No, absolutely not, but it would be hard to mess up a decision if it were to happen right now. Jimmy starting to take over in this professional bout. Third and final round coming up. Started to see just a little bit of fatigue there. Jimmy Sandlin in round two. And of course, we've seen what seems like nothing but fatigue from Chalmer throughout this fight, but he's still here dogging it out. But Jimmy Sandlin coming in with those strikes, he's gonna have to get his hands up or move his head movement because as we know, Paul Chalmer can sling that leather and it could be a bad night. And Chalmer knows he needs to finish this fight right now, and he absolutely has the ability to do so. See these two former teammates here showing mad respect to each other. Rivals turn teammates, turn rivals again. Third and final round, the team from Jimmy Sandlin. Does Schomer have a plan in this third and final round? Jimmy Sandlin trying to keep the jab out. Schomer with the one, two. Active hands from Jimmy Sandlin. Jab to the body. Just popping it out there. Inside kick. And Schomer stalking Jimmy Sandlin. Oh, the right hand lands for both fighters. Schomer says no. That usually means yes. <laughs> and right hand lands in the clinch for Jimmy Sandlin. 
pace kind of slowed here in round three. Just over four minutes left. This pro fight, first pro fight of the night. Shomer putting his jab out there now. Sandlin giving Shomer the leg kick. You see a little more desperation out of Shomer, Alex. He's got to really have this round three. He's got to get a finish. Absolutely. With Shomer checking the kick. Jimmy staying active. The one two is landing, but I mean, how much does it have on it for Paul Shomer? They're connecting. It's just kind of a little pitter patter, but you know, it's it's still scoring points. Shomer laughing. Having a good old time. Feels like it's only a matter of time before these two start talking trash to each other. One, two. Ooh. Volume from Paul Schomer. Schomer laying in some heavy leather right there. Head kick from Schomer. That's all I talked about. Jimmy's going to have to start to use some head work. We know that Schomer's going to come out throwing hard, and that's what he's doing. Jimmy takes a look down at his corners. They're calling for pressure. Three minutes to go in this third and final round. The Teets landing for both fighters. Impressive performance by Jimmy Sandlin. He's able to land his own Teets against a longer Paul Schomer. Schomer shaking his head. There's a little bit of the talk. The hook lands inside for Jimmy Sandlin. Schomer eating all kinds of leather in this fight, but he's still here. He is savage. An absolute warrior is Paul Schomer. He's throwing up the head kicks. He's still trying to finish this fight. He's got Corner. just over two minutes left to try to do it, Alex. Dire situation for Paul Schomer. And Sandlin stalking his opponent. But there's no quit. And Paul Schomer and Jimmy Sandlin just going to work here. Ooh, there's that tight elbow. Oh, and these guys are brawling now. Schomer looking to find a home for his elbows. And Sandlin in on the double leg. And Schomer right away shooting up submission attempts. And Jimmy Sandstorm Sandlin says, no, thank you. Jimmy turns, <laughs> Jimmy stops fighting and turns and looks at his corners. That's how comfortable he is right now. You have to be careful of that. He's gonna eat one of them left pieces of leather right there in Shelmer. An absolute war between both fighters right now. Sandlin with all the momentum in the world coming into this third round, but Shomer's putting together a body of work. You know, Alex, you always hear the coaches say, leave it all in the cage. That is exactly what both of these fighters are doing here tonight. 100% and Shomer rock, but coming forward nonetheless. And the teams of Jimmy Sandlin finding a home. Shomer throwing leading elbows at the Queen City Grappling Club begging Sandlin for pressure as Shomer bends over at the waist, gives a good up look at Jimmy Sandlin. The jab lands for Sandlin. These guys are absolute warriors. The knee from Paul Shomer. Sandlin in on the double. 30 seconds to go in this third and final round of our co-main event of the evening. Sandlin on the neck of Paul Shomer. He wants to finish. He wants to finish. That's in there. Schomer able to escape yep. the neck. Sandlin seemingly having this in the bag and yet still looking for the finish. Final 10 seconds in this third round. These guys are gonna leave it all on the table right now. What a, what fight. a fight. Man. What an amazing fight for our co-main event here. B2 Fighting Series 125. The entire crowd on their feet for these fighters. Here you see the replay. Sandlin landing, Schomer landing, everyone's landing, head kicks land. What a leather feast here tonight, Alex. These My guys goodness. fed on nothing but leather for 15 minutes. I could watch these guys fight every single day. My, oh, 
My, what a grueling, amazing back and forth bout. And our co-main event of the evening here at B2FS125 in Dayton, Ohio. These are two Ohio boys. They just put on a hell of a show for the sold out Dayton Convention Center. Like you said, Alex, rivals to teammates to rivals, and now they hug it out again in our B2 Fighting Series cage here tonight. What an excellent bout. These guys definitely pulled the best out of each other. Super impressive performance by both fighters. We have an official decision, guys. Here is ring announcer Lance Green. B2 fans. All three judges see it the same exact way. Your winner, by unanimous decision, by a score of 30 to 27 out of the red corner, Jimmy Sandlin! Jimmy Sandstorm Sandlin. Pet fight did not disappoint for a co-main event. All the way up with the same ones that was down from the jump day one. Same ones been around when the ain't funds even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one.